Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to Cooking the Catch. And today we're making blackened mangrove snapper with a roasted garlic parmesan fettuccine pasta. And that's going to have base scallops in it, so check this out. All you're going to need, fettuccine pasta, one snapper, diced tomatoes with uh, green chilies, we got this one, uh, roasted garlic parmesan, some Cajun blackened seasoning, base scallops, one line. First things first, we got to get this guy boneless. If you haven't seen my uh, tip of the week, I do show you how to make a, how to cut these fish and remove all the bones to, so you have a clean boneless fillet. So after I do that, we're going to go ahead and do everything else. Be right back. And now that we filleted the snapper, look how thin I did that snapper, man. If you look through there, you can see the future on the other side. <laughs> all right, so here we go. We have the snapper right here. It's deboned already. And basically all we're going to do it's going to sprinkle some blackened seasoning on it and let me see if I can get that done right now we just bought this there we go there we go all we're going to do season it up on both sides be liberal with this seasoning so you get it nicely covered Now, off to the pan we go. I'm going to show you what you're going to need for that. Alright you guys, now that we have the pan nice and hot, we're going to add some extra virgin olive oil on there. And some butter. Yeah, I expected that. So now we're going to let the butter melt down into the extra virgin olive oil. Okay, just like that, looking good. Now we're going to go ahead and start adding our fillet. Just so you know, I got my setting on number six, so the fish can cook thoroughly and black and perfectly. Get back to you when, when it's done. And that's how it's supposed to look right there, you guys. You see how one side is really dark? This side's already cooked, so we're just cooking the other side right now. All right, you guys, the snapper's already done. We're going to pull them out. There you go. Oh, look how they're falling apart. There you go. Look at that, you guys. Excellent. Now we're off to the fettuccine. All right, you guys, basically now what we have going on here, we're boiling up some water for the fettuccine. And we're just going to add some salt to that. And then we're going to start adding our fettuccine. There we go. Okay. Now all we're going to do is let that boil down for about what, 15 minutes? Mm -hmm. And that'll be ready. Okay, now the pasta is done, we're going to let it sit there for a little bit, and we're going to go ahead and start with the base scallops. So basically what we're going to put in there is some butter. Oh, that looks good. There we go. We're going to go ahead and let that melt down for a minute. Looking really good. Okay, now what are you going to do? Okay, she's going to add Lowry's seasoned salt. So now the base scallops uh, will be seasoned instead of just using plain salt and pepper. And just a couple of sprinkles of that will work. Wow, that smells really good. Alright, and now we're going to dump in the base scallops. Woo! Now we're going to cook these down until they turn uh, a white color. 
and we'll be back with that um, when that gets done. Okay, now the scallops are cooked down, we're going to remove as much water as we can from that. There we go. Alright you guys, now what we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and add the ragu, roasted garlic parmesan to the uh, base scallops. Look at that. Oh my god, that smells so good. And we're going to go ahead and use the whole jar for that. Oh, that looks really good. Okay, now we're basically all we're going to do is heat up the sauce because these scallops are already cooked. And all that we have left to do is add the uh, tomatoes with the green chilies. Okay, go ahead. Now what's going to happen, don't freak out or anything, but the, the sauce is going to turn a pinkish color and that's basically what we're looking for. There we go. Wow, that looks really good. Perfect. Now we're just going to let that simmer up a little bit and then we're going to start adding our pasta. Okay. As you guys can see it's starting to bubble up a little bit so we're going to go ahead and start adding our pasta to this right quick. Here you want. Okay, Sanders holding the camera we're going to start adding our pasta. There we go. Oh, I wish we had a pasta spoon. Keep mixing that in. We're gonna turn it, turn it, turn it. Let's see, there we go. A little bit more pasta. Okay. All right. We're gonna keep doing that until we have all the pasta in here. We're gonna keep turning, flipping, and making sure everything is mixed in well. And I'm gonna show you what the plate looks like after this. Check that out you guys, we got it all mixed in very good, and whoo, it looks good, smells good. Now we're going to go ahead and start plating. Oh my god, that's so good. There you go you guys, we have blackened mangrove snapper with roasted garlic parmesan with bay scallops and tomato and green chilies. Until next time you guys, have a good one.